Aquarius, it is time for your mid-April to May reading of this current year. Da -da -da -da. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates with you, cool. If it doesn't, no big deal, right? Because we don't care, right? This is going to be a Thunderdome with two people. So it's going to be you and whoever it is you're dealing with. Hold on to your horses. I am in my house by myself finally. Oh my God. It is so refreshing to be alone for like 10 minutes. Because, uh. Not that I don't love my husband, but it's like I have not been alone once on this vacation. And that's why I wanted a vacation. But whatever. Ooh, some of you feel like an offer is stalled, right? Right. So, let us go. We're doing group one, group two. That could be the first two. Fuck it. Let's go. King of Wands reversed, and in your wants and wishes is justice. Ooh. Justice! No whammies. Okay. Fears and rejection is the lovers. A parry. Ooh. What is that about? Aquarius. Mm. I'm going to shuffle those again. Um, here you are. The star. In the situation with communication. A message was not delivered. Someone might go ahead and take action anyway without that message. Or they're waiting for that message that's never going to come. In the obstacles as well as the challenges coming against you. And death card, Scorpio. Letting things all die to begin the new. People changing who they are. Hello, my fats. Oh, I love it. We actually have like the shelf back here now. Which is why I have Vash's Stampede from Trigun. Which, by the way, I love Vash the Stampede. Totally my spirit animal, right? Because wherever he goes, calamity follows, right? But, like, the shelf's just elevated enough to where, like, my fat man can eat at a decent level. And he doesn't have to bend down so far. So I'm quite happy about that. Your beginning theme is the High Priestess Secrets. Um, intuition being tapped into that unknown, right? I actually had a client not long ago who is at uh, Aquarius dealing with shit, so hopefully this will help her out too because she wanted to know about legal matters. So, King of Wands, Aquarius. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, someone who's not being entirely fair, demanding, um, dominating, for no good reason. Of course, I dropped a bunch of cards right after I slid my ass happily in place. This person is not offering their love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is not opening up about their um, interests. They're not apologizing. They're not doing shit. Underneath with the situation is the star. Your card, Aquarius. But this could be a person dealing with you or going to be dealing with communications in general. Okay. Um... Might be someone who wasn't faithful, but uh, that's what some people say. But with the Queen of Pentacles, I really don't think so. Um, usually Capricorn, also Taurus or Virgo, but it's kind of like you know, like she's demanding, she's expecting what she wants. I want it and I want it now. She's not being giving as a pentacle holder, she's withholding her pentacles and expecting everybody to give it to theirs to her. Nasty, nasty, nasty manifestations from that, right? Justice card. You want justice. In order to feel like yourself again with the Nine of Pentacles. You're either dealing with a Libra or you're dealing with legal issues. That'll help you establish yourself. Either you want to win a legal case, like one of my clients once said. So if you're watching this, mm. or you're trying to find some good karma in order to get you back where you need to go either financially or emotionally it's just setting yourself up for um good foundations good financial standing almost like wanting to be a trophy wife having that good goods right feeling luxurious notorious aquarius you know i'm actually singing in my house now i'm so happy Eight of Wands Reverse. This is the challenges and obstacles coming against you, Group 1. Someone waiting for a message that's never going to come. Either they're going to take action where it shouldn't be taken, or they're not going to take any action at all. Okay. 
Um, and this is keeping someone feeling like they're mentally stuck with the Eight of Swords. Like someone wants to know what they should be doing, but they are mentally trapped until they get some information. That's the challenge ahead of you. We got the lovers here and the fear. Okay. Oh, there are the rest of them. Like someone is afraid of some sort of connection with somebody right here, right? And uh, they're wasting time on it too. The hanged man reverse. Kind of like a martyr complex or they're not moving even though they know that they should be. They're stuck. They realize they're stuck, but they're not doing anything about it. Then that's card. Someone needs to change their ways. Um, the old needs to die so the new can come in. King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And this is part of Scorpio's card. So it's just kind of like, are you looking for somebody to change their ways? Look at everything objectively and not just their emotions. Be under the understanding that they need to not be this way, but be this way. Because this is like, someone needs to change their ways and be more in tune with how they are emotionally. Uh, not ignoring everybody else and just paying attention to your own emotions, but giving your emotions the attention they deserve and not subs pushing them to the side in order to make everybody else happy. Anything is... There is a lack of balance or something is not balanced on the scales. Possibly, once again, dealing with a Libra. And there are secrets behind this disbalance, right? Like, you know, look at this dude in the red coat. There is a dude in this blue coat. He's got red in his pocket. That might be the secret. Someone might have something up their sleeve, I feel like. All right. Advice cards. Lack of movement with this, with this person not giving their love out and this star of communication where someone's being way too demanding, expecting everybody else to give but not wanting to give back. And there is an open door here, but I feel like it's not... Like, someone's waiting to make a move to secure something, I feel like, legally in order to open this door between two people. If it's not two people, it's something that has something to do with the home. Someone wants to open the door to the home. Huh? And through it all, someone really wants to establish themselves and take care of themselves with the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Honestly, it could be a toss-up between Taurus and Virgo, but I really feel like it's Taurus because of the duck face and all the filters. Um, but that's just me. So you got that going on for you. So let's look at group two. Like, if my one client is watching, I feel like that's what you're going to be dealing with, but I do feel like it's going to be successful for you. So, whereas for travel, who knows? That's up to you, really. I really can't tell you yes or no. But I'm glad I could point out one person who I've done cards for and be like, hey, you might want to look at this one because it might tell you exactly what you need to hear. And from my one client, I think you'll be successful with whatever court case you're trying to go through. I really do. I think you're going to get your bread. So, cheers, man. Let's look at the second person and see what they're doing. Group two. The moon! Getting your emotions played with. No whammies. Okay. Um, four of swords reverse in the wants and wishes. Two of pentacles in the fears and rejections. The situation is the two of wands. The obstacle and the challenges against you. Page of pentacles reversed. Catalyst as well as the final result, getting balance. Ooh, look at that. Beginning theme, as always. Seven of Cups. A lot of emotional confusion, trying to be creative to find your way out of it. Like, your shadow side is more creative right now, well, as your whatever light, conscious, subconscious, whatever the hell you call it. What you show to people seems blank. What's inside, though, is a torrent of stuff. Just stuff, right? So we got the moon right here. 
someone feels like their emotions have been being played with. Like there are strings connected to the moon, right? And that's like emotional manipulations. Someone's under some illusion. Someone feels like they're being played with. And they're definitely mulling over some loss about that with the four of cups right here. Like they're trying to sit there and think, what am I going to do with these three cups? And they aren't even looking at the one cup to verify whether they're actually looking at all the cups. This two of wands in a situation where someone needs to make some sort of decision is a burden on them with the ten of wands. It's a burden that's coming to an end since it's a ten, but it's still a burden nonetheless. Then we have the Four of Swords, where someone really doesn't want to think or meditate or rejuvenate or recover from something, kind of like the loss with the Four of Cups. Um, they don't want to think about it, and they don't want to think about what could come out legally or with a Libra. Yeah, chick. If you're watching this, yeah, you're probably you're most likely going to win your case because they're sitting here. Worrying. Group, the rest of you in group two, I feel like this person is definitely regretting some decisions they made. And they realize there's no way of um, really fixing it other than the two choices that are in front of them. Page of Pentacles right here. Normally I would say this is an idiot, a disappointment, something that didn't have any enough foundation to even create that pentacle. It's probably stolen, honestly. King of Pentacles. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, group two. And for my client. Um, these are not the same people. Or they are. It feels like um, this person doesn't have a leg to stand on, but in reality, they do. In fact, they have more power than what's demonstrated. That's what's going against you right now. Holy shit. Two of pentacles right here. Don't want to weigh your options. You're afraid or rejecting what it is because you'd rather sneak away. Oh. Sorry, I was trying to get to the door. Well, I don't know what my. Sorry about that. My husband came with food. I am. I'm almost done with this. I just have five more cards to draw. Okay. All right. Last card is the Six of Pentacles. Someone needs to be a little bit more fair. There needs to be more balance. You just can't hold all these pentacles back and then think giving somebody one pentacle is um cool. Because that's not cool. Sharing is caring. Oops. Yeah, that's not going to work out. That's not working out at all. In fact, that's probably what got you. Like, it could also be third party. Something to do with work, co-workers and shit. But definitely could be the situation that put you in this to begin with, group two. And there is an inability to decide what to do with this emotional confusion. Right? Right. Like, you don't know what to do, so now you're just sitting here, like, being like, ah, I don't know what to invest in and shit. Looking like L.A. Beast doing the robot, just like, da, 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 you know. You don't watch him, you should, because he's an incredible creator. I love him. Very much. But not in that way. Yeah. Home's kind of chaotic. Definitely greatest creator. Damn straight. Definitely, um, the door has been slammed shut in your face group too like whatever it is coupling is it was just no oof yeah and now someone's walking away <coughs> cups full looking like they're raggedy and yeah there's no point in fighting you're just gonna give it up seven of wands so yeah, group two, sorry to say, but I think group one, this is dealing with legalities. Mm -mm. No, they, down here, they, they have more support and structure than what you're giving them credit for. But 
that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And if you guys want a personal video, hit me down with my email in the description below. I'm going to go get dinner. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.